those Scottish Pikes, they're just a different breed. Beautiful green, bluish dots, and ah, it's amazing. There we go. That's why we're fishing in Scotland. Oh, it's so strong. It's crazy. It's crazy strong. Here we go again. Good morning and welcome to a new video. Today we are in Scotland fishing beautiful Loch Lomond. Something totally different than last episode while we were in Sweden. So this time totally new environment, totally new, totally new lake, loch, depending on how you call it. Yep. But uh, a new event, new adventure. So uh, target is pike. We're gonna fish for pike, uh, both casting, a little bit shallow, a little bit deeper. Uh, and of course, we'll also do a little bit of uh, live fishing uh, with the with the live sonars. Uh, that's something no nobody kind of does here, I believe. Not so many people do here. And in the last couple of days, our results have been quite amazing with the live sonars. Uh, but also just casting on the shallows. That's how we got the big ones last couple of days. So uh, join us. We have arrived on the first spot. First spot that we're gonna try today is a shallow area, rocky place with some uh, st starting to grow weeds. We've, we're kind of in springtime right now, um, and in, on this rocky place with some sandbanks and some 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 yeah, old and new weeds. That's where we found the pike uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, fishing really shallow, between one and a half and one meter, one one and a half, maybe two meters, something like that. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start casting here. Yugo's gonna start with a soft bait, a small roach imitation. I'm gonna start with a hard bait, a jerk bait. Uh, Zilla glider has been really successful here the last couple of days, so let's go. It's a little bit different than fishing in uh, in Holland, where we only have uh, man-made channels and industrial harbors and all that kind of stuff. It just looks so so awesome. Shallow fishing here, in between islands, trees. A little bit misty morning today. You can't really see the big the big mountains around, but trust me, they're there. They're so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, missed one. A little bit better one. They're not so big here on the shallow uh, plateau, but we get quite some action uh, last time. And this one is the first one, the first bite on the jerk bait. Uh, yeah, let's release it and catch another one. Oh, Oh, nice one. What a bite. What a nice bite. On the Zilla glider, 13 centimeter. A little bit downsized. So strong. And if you're fishing over deep water, they can go down, but here they have to go sideways. Looks really cool. What a nice fish. Ooh, nice. That's good fish. Oh, yeah, buddy. There we go. That's why we're fishing in Scotland. Look at this. Beautiful pike. Super nice fish. Must be like a small 90, 92, 93, something like that. But we return it quickly. Full of energy. Let's say full of power. Really nice fish. <laughs> nice buddy. Just getting no bites on the soft bait. 
So we both now switch to a hard bait. I'm downsizing a little bit with the McSnack and Hugo is with the jointed Plenty. glider. And on the first cast, directly a bite. So all this time with a soft bait. No single bite, all hard nothing. bait. Instantly. It's weird how that changed it all. So quick update. The first couple of pikes have been caught, including a really nice one, super shallow. Really, really fun. A lot of bites, uh, all on the on the glider. To be honest, eh? most of the bites are all on the on the side to side action of the glider. And uh, yeah, that was the first uh, one and a half, two hours, something like that. And right now behind me, Hugo is uh, making Doing important stuff. He's maintaining the captain <laughs> <laughs> with a nice uh, little cup of coffee. It's a holiday for us, so uh, we take it easy. We enjoy the the life. And uh, we enjoyed it. It's not die hard fishing, it's just a little bit of a combination. That's just it. Enjoy That's the it. moments and enjoy what, the views. It's what clearing. better than a coffee with this kind of view. Yeah, it's clearing up Beyond. a little bit, so uh, I think uh, later today we'll see a little bit more sun as well. So these morning hours are uh, probably more productive for the bikes. But first, coffee. So we're done with the shallow fishing. Right now we're gonna move to a little bit deep water, try if we can find some more active fish on the deep water. We also know that there's some quite big trout in these lakes, so who knows, fingers crossed, active trout or pike, we don't mind, as long as they want to bite. One. Tiny, tiny pikey. They don't seem to like me today. So we're scanning with the uh, active target a little bit this, uh, this yeah, deeper plateau. And there's quite some bait fish here scattered around on the bottom and in small groups here and there. And we're looking for a little bit better marks uh, that we can specifically target with the with a soft bait, cast it on them, or a nice big group of bait fish that we can just blind cast around see if there's a pike that wants to come up uh, that's the plan for now take it uh, give it a few hours yeah fish on i think we've been scanning the area for uh, an hour and a half or something uh, i got quite some fish in the sonar uh, all following and, uh, and not really taking the bait i got one small nibble but nothing to really set hook on uh, we saw one really big pike, around 110 or something, um, but didn't want to take. And now, finally, we've got one in the net. Not a super huge fish, but the next pike. I'm very finally. happy. Very happy with this fish. Super nice bite. <laughs> nailed it. Really, really nailed that, that lure. See how he's smoking that roach, roach imitation. Nice little pikey. What would it be? Around 70 or something? Yeah. Super cool. Do you think this fish was quite hungry? Yeah. This one was. Totally inhaled. It's what we usually see, just following the bait for a while and then suddenly just smash the thing. Good. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. They need some long pliers for these, uh, these kind of fish. Because when they take it, they take it well. Super fish. So we tend to use all very natural looking baits because the water is super clear and seems to work out. Bye bye. As you can see, the sky is cleared up. We got full sun now, almost no wind, so it's uh, not really pike pike weather. And the fish that we see are a bit lazy, but this one wanted to play. That's really cool. We're fishing really natural. Roach imitations here, not too big because we know there's there are a few big pikes here, but the majority is this kind of size, and this is yeah just a snack for them. So uh, let's continue and uh, try to find one for Hugo because he's not been so lucky yet today. Chasing the lure, but no, yes, no, yes. Hugo, just take this color. This one has been has been catching the fish. I'll listen to you, buddy. Why be so stubborn only fishing with that color? Because it looks so natural. Go for this one. 
proven. This one is proven to catch. So many scars and cuts in this one. I'm not gonna talk about this, but <laughs> I'll listen to you, buddy. No to interest. Oh, the fish is coming up. Uh, there we go. There we go. That's a big fish. Good fish. Nice. Your first one on, Hugo. Finally. Show me what you got, sir. I've got an angry pike. I just don't want to take it out of the net because I'm afraid of pike knuckles. You got office hands, my friend. <laughs> there we go. Freaking. Yeah. Still a bit feisty. Yep. Uh, now it should be okay. Uh, here we go. Powerful fish. Wow. Let's first unhook this one because it's literally... Uh, finally! Salmon had a beautiful 90 plus this morning. And I think I've got mine over here. Looks like it. What totally different weather conditions, but uh, we just talked to each other and said there should be a certain moment when they need to feed. And apparently five o'clock means dinner time, also for the fish. So let's get some quick pictures and see if we can find another beauty. They're just so beautiful in here. Just totally different markings compared to what we have back home in the Netherlands. But those Scottish pikes, they're just a different breed. Beautiful green bluish dots and ah, it's amazing love it so and that makes a total of five six fish or something right now decent amount and two really nice ones yeah we, we are two happy lads <laughs> nothing to complain about today eh? yeah exactly i think the plan now is to continue a little bit more to scan them and to to pelagic to shark shoot for them and then uh, when the sun sets a little bit we're gonna go and uh, do some more shallow fishing again and uh, see if we can catch one or two more yep try to move maybe do some deeper water a little bit deeper edges and probably during the day because it's so sunny those shallow parts have been heating yeah, up they warm up so there's like two three degrees celsius difference between the deep water and the shallow area so fingers crossed but i think we might find some decent ones out there so uh let's see let's go for it Oh, and by the way, Hugo, which color did you catch him on? <laughs> uh, on the original one, the... Uh... Uh, uh, show it, show it. No! <laughs> show it. <laughs> All right. Sometimes you have to listen to your buddy, but... <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Hear that, Simon? Big one. Dinner bell. <laughs> <laughs> That's, this is literally two minutes after my fish. That's, yeah. Because you deserved it, buddy. You guess, thought it was a school of fish. Guess, guess which color? Did you change to the salt and pepper? Nope. <laughs> Whoa, damn, that's huge! Whoa! <laughs> Oh, buddy! Bump, bump, bump. That's a meter fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's the biggest one of the trip, buddy. Oh, yeah. My man! <sighs> oh. Oh, that's yes. definitely, definitely a meter plus. Yes, that's a, that's a good fish. All right, let's get a picture. I, <laughs> I literally didn't record the bite because he said, ah, it's a school of fish. So I just didn't press record. And Luckily, then we have the GoPro running. So. Boom! Everything is on there. Oh, uh, pike knuckles oh, incoming! That's a big fish. That's a big fish. <laughs> <laughs> Two smiling boys. Get it, get it. <laughs> Simon is afraid of pike knuckles, but luckily we have some perfect gloves. Well, after a week of pike fishing with uh, around 100 fish in the boat already, the fingers are already quite beaten up. But we got this uh, Savage Gear glove. To protect a little bit the hands and also against uh, the hooks that it might be in there. <laughs> well, let's see what we have. Show me what you got. Yeah, it's a uh, dinner bell. Five o'clock means. Uh, you see? That's why we have to glove. How, how far in the 
in the mouth it is. It's only the little tail that's still sticking out. Let's try to get that out of the way. This is exactly the reason why we have those long nose pliers. Yep. Because without them, you can't unhook the fish. Exactly. All right. Uh, stupid, stupid, stupid little color. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> <laughs> what a beauty. What a big head this one has. Uh, that's, a, an, that's an old fish. And a wide back. Look at that. Super beautiful. Let's see how long she is. One oh five. You feel? Ah, what a day, guys! I mean, you see the it's it's totally not pike weather. Well, this morning it was. It was nice overcast, and we got quite some action on the shallows. But right now, with the full sun and flat water. Normally it's not so, so much pike weather. That's also why we fish a little bit deeper, find the schools of bait fish, try to target some, some pike that are standing on the deeper edges, uh, where it's a li little bit less depending on the weather circumstances, if you can catch it or not, apparently, because those were two quite nice pikes. <laughs> quite nice, <laughs> in, yeah. In maybe 10 minutes or something. So uh, let's continue and see if there's another one. I honestly didn't even know that it was possible to get sunburned in Scotland. <laughs> All the stories about terrible weather, rain, heavy winds. We have a small little flacon of uh, sunscreen that we have to... That's the only one we have. Coming up there. Got him. Got him. Got him. Awesome. Talk to me. That's a big fish again, buddy. No way. Is that three and uh, half an hour? Wow! We're definitely not gonna talk about the color anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I keep my mouth shut. I just this don't want to hear anything, buddy. <laughs> just nothing. Just. <laughs> oh. So what I did is when I see the fish rising, I just stopped dropping the bait because the fish already noticed the bait. So it was around six meters above the bottom. Stopped dropping the bait. And then you see the fish just watching, very carefully moving up. And then, usually three meters away from the bait, they instantly move and make a shot. And that's exactly what happened over here. Uh, with this beauty. Good old roach imitation. Beautiful fish. Think wow. around just below 90. Uh, beautiful. Might be a 90. Close. But really nevertheless, nice very, very bulky. Just oh. look at the girth. Just super fat and healthy fish. Markings, beautiful. Wrong side. <laughs> super healthy fish. Nice. Coming. He's looking at the bait right now. Come on, take it. Good yeah. oh. <laughs> I just wanted to ask you, did you have the wrong color, buddy? But nope, <laughs> that's the right color. <laughs> Told you. Uh, big fish? Uh, that's a decent fish. There's another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, how cool is that? This is so much fun. Well, there's another one. A little bit smaller, but uh, I'll take it. There we go. That's the color. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's magic. Nice little fish. Quickly back in the water. Hoppa. <laughs> Another nice fish, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Quite a big one. Yeah. Whew. Strong one. Super strong. I love pike fishing so much. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. Wow, huh? look at that. Wow. That's so cool. Man. What a cool fish. Look at the view and then bending rods. Ah. And then catching two tones. 
Nice. Wow. That's so cool. <laughs> and again. <laughs> Off we go. I think this one was a little hungry. Oh. <laughs> because I've got no clue where the bait is. Those colors, wow. Wow. Where's the bait, man? Totally, totally gone. <laughs> so <good luck. laughs> and this one is really it's fighting really one. Really strong. Feasty one. It's an amazing fish. Wow. This is so extremely cool. <laughs> like a half albino. <laughs> Half a bino pike. <laughs> and this one looks normal. <laughs> and then we do the magic trick. Simon, just watch that. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Ooh, nice view. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, huh? what's that? <laughs> <laughs> I told you about that. That roach is made for special fish. So we've had an amazing day, and I think this is a perfect fish. Just call it a day. Release this beauty and get back home because she wants to leave. <laughs> awesome release, but nice. What a day, guys. Amazing. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I think uh, there was a super cool day in Scotland fishing for pikes. And uh, we got some nice ones. A big one, real big one. And a very special one to close the day. So, unique uh, fishing, that's one very thing unique. for sure. Yeah. So. All right. See you, See you next, next time. time! Oh, that's a big fish. <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> so we just released this one. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> okay, I think they're quite hungry, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah, it's exactly the same fish. <laughs> easy to tell, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> quite easy to tell that this is exactly the same fish that we just released two minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> the same lure. <laughs> You're one stupid fish, boy. Oh my god. <laughs> Unbelievable. Can I now also get a picture with this fish? <laughs> you can get a picture. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, you deserve the picture. <laughs> so, let me show you this fish one more time. <laughs> Quick back with this one because we've already shown it on the camera, right? Yep. <laughs> Now we can do a beautiful release on this one. <laughs> That's how you should do it. No. All right. Now stay down. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. All right. So this is actually the end of the video. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>